Hello and welcome to another episode of my beginner's guide to using Evernote 10. And this week it's that exciting time where I'm going to introduce you to the amazing Evernote Web Clipper. Now this is probably one of the best features that Evernote has ever had and it hasn't disappeared with Evernote 10. In fact, if anything, in my experience, it's actually got better. Now, hopefully, if you've been following along with this series, you did download the Web Clipper from whichever browser you're using, whether that's Chrome or Safari or Firefox, possibly Edge. I haven't checked yet, but we will check and make sure you can download it for Edge. And basically what you need to do is to get it downloaded and get it logged into your account. So without any further ado, let me take you into my new demo account of Evernote and Web Clipper and show you everything you need to know about using the amazing Evernote Web Clipper. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make sure that we have the, this symbol on your top bar. So if you're using Safari desktop, then you need this symbol on the top. If you're using Chrome, is a bit of magic, you need to have this symbol over here. This indicates that you have the Web Clipper involved. So let's just go, where do you get the Web Clipper from? Well, with Safari, what you need to do is you go into Safari extensions. So you go into Safari up at the top and Safari extensions. And in here, you can search Evernote. So if you just search Evernote, whoop, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we search Evernote and hit return and you will see that the web clipper is right here. You don't need to download the app again because presumably you already have the app on your on your desktop. What you want is the web clipper which has this symbol here, not this symbol. So just make sure you get the web clipper. That's what you need. Now in Chrome, all you need to do is go over to Chrome over here. Let's go into my, I'm just going to go, uh, let's create a home button. What we need to do is go to the apps section on the top right left hand corner of your Chrome. Click on that and down here you've got web store. So if you click on web store and again you can go into Evernote into the search box, hit return and you get the web clipper right here. And you can pretty much do, I don't know enough about uh, Firefox or Edge, but you just need to get the add-ons from wherever you get the add-ons in those apps. So I'm gonna close this out now and I'm gonna go back to my Evernote blog. So once you've installed it, you will have the web clipper right up here or wherever it is on your browser. I'm gonna show you both in Safari and Chrome because looking at the numbers on my websites for sure, those are the two most popular desktop apps. So what I'm going to do is go to this particular Evernote news. So we're going to click on this article here and I bring up the article. So we've got a lot of articles, we've got quite a few things in there. And what I can do is, all I need to do is click on the Web Clipper, which I'm clicking now, and you'll see that it's loading the Web Clipper. Now, as I hinted at last in the last episode, we have a number of ways that you can save this article. Now, I save my article the full article, but you might want the simplified article which cuts out pretty much everything and you get a nice simple clean text. Uh, you can do the full page which will include ads on those websites that have ads. I can bookmark it as I showed you last week which means I get this little icon here or I can take a screenshot which as you can see now my screen has changed so I just want to save this image so I can just roll out there and boom, I've saved the boom and it's gone. It's gone to my Evernote and I can now, I can even uh, annotate this clip now or I can just say save the clip, which I'm doing. I'm just saving the clip. So that's now syncing to my Evernote and we'll go to that in a moment to show you that it did sync. So that's essentially how it works. Now I'm just going to click out of that because it's confirming that I've saved. You've got a number of settings in your web clipper. So I go down to here and I open up the settings. Now I have my account in here because it's my demo account. Uh, I can create shortcuts, which 
that's a little bit more involved and we don't need to go this is just a beginner's guide so what we've got is we can have an appearance of dark or light so it can change you can have a light mode or dark mode you can use smart filing which actually i don't like to use um, what I like to use is notebook destination. So what I want is I want to change that to my inbox, wherever the inbox is. Where are you inbox? There we go. I want to change that to my inbox because I like to process my notes independently. I don't really trust um, tags or, or, or things. So you can use smart filing again here, tagging. So it will actually automatically add tags. I don't like that. It's up to you. You can also create default clip format so you can change that to whichever way you want i usually have it as articles so that's there but if you like that simplified version you can just click on simplified and it will automatically and i'll show you that in a second um, and there's various other things that you can do right here so those are worth having a look at particularly this section here i strongly recommend that you make sure that all your articles go into your inbox first so then you can decide later if it's still relevant to you and that's something i strongly recommend that you do so click out of that and we're going to save this article so i'm just going to go let's click out of that and sometimes what you need to do when you change settings is just refresh the page. It just refreshes everything, which I've just done now. So I'm going to click on the web clipper. You should see now that it automatically saves it in the simple format. And as you can see, it goes straight to my inbox and it's not adding a tag. I can add remarks here if I wish. I don't usually. And I'm going to save that clip. So there you go. That's how we do it with Evernote though what I'm going to do now is show you in Chrome which is all pretty much similar again once you've got it installed it's right up there if I click on that now I can go in and again I can go down to my settings and again I have the same option so we're going to change this again so this is now set in for the wrong person so this this isn't going to go to the right place I've got this set up for my uh, other account so what we need to do is just change that Okay, we're now signed into the correct place. So what I'm going to do, so we've got that set up. Let's go back into my settings here. And I can now, because I've got it set up definitely in the right account here. Uh, I can go down there. I'm going to turn off this uh, use. I'm going to go back to the same thing. I'm going to make sure that I'm using my inbox, which is down here somewhere, right there. And I'm going to use, no, I don't want to use smart filing. And essentially, that's it. That's all I need. The only other thing I want to do is let's leave. Where are we? We're going to use article format. We're going to click on that and we're going to use simplified. Oh, no, let's leave that as article. And then you can see what it looks like when it comes into Evernote from there. So there we go. We've got set up. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick refresh. That will just make things uh, nice and simple. Let's take my last blog post that I published earlier this week. It's down there. I don't have ads on my website, so again, I don't really have to clear anything. If I clip on the web clipper, it's going to go for the article. Now, you'll see when it goes for the article, it removes the images. Maybe that's not what I want in this case. Maybe I want to keep the image. So what I'm going to change to is I'm going to go, you can have a look at Simplified. It removes the image. So I'm going to go Full Page. That's going to save the full page. And all I need to do is save the clip. And so we're saving the clip. And that's done. Okay, so now we've done all that web clipping. Basically, we need to go now into my Evernote. And we're going to have a look. And we're going to see what that looks like. So open up Evernote. Let's go into my inbox. Because remember, we saved these items into the inbox. So here's the first one that we've just done now from my Google. You've got the link right up there. So I can go straight to the actual original article. And I've got my web clip right there. It's all in that exactly how I want it. It's right there. So we're, we're pretty good going there. And then we've got here. We've got the Evernote. This is the one that I did from Safari. That's all in there. Again, it's all come in very, very nicely. And the other one, which is the, I didn't save the screenshot that I took, um, but if I had done, that would be in here as well. So that's how it all works. It automatically works in the background and it's super, super easy to use. And seriously, guys, 
whatever desktop you're using, you really, if you can, make sure you get the web clipper because it does save you so much time. And when you remove those barriers to actually getting stuff into Evernote, that's when you will start to use it a lot more. So hopefully you found this episode useful. Thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.